Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be looking at how to add a simple momentary button uh, such as this to a Raspberry Pi in order to trigger uh, the start of a sequence uh, or the start of a show uh, from a push button uh, in FPP. Now I've already configured a small uh, a Raspberry Pi 4 here with a small number of pixels uh, and that's just going to be used to demonstrate the show today. So I've just got five little uh, five volt pixels connected directly to the GPIO uh, on the Raspberry Pi here. And I'm going to add uh, this button uh, to the mix so that we can start our show directly from uh, the push button, uh, which could then be utilized uh, by either yourself um, or maybe an audience member to trigger something like a set of angel wings uh, or something like that. So without further ado, uh, let's get on to it. So I'm going to utilize uh, two of the GPIO, the general purpose input output pins on my Raspberry Pi, and I'm going to connect uh, this switch. Now this one's already got two, uh, two connectors on it, which is nice and easy. So these are uh, normal jumper wire connectors, uh, aka uh, DuPont connectors, uh, and these are going to plug straight onto the pins of the Raspberry Pi. Now I'm going to connect onto the uh, two, onto the two pins in the bottom left hand side there. Uh, now the furthest bottom left is a ground pin uh, as is shown here and the one above it is GPIO 26 uh, which is pin 37 uh, and pin 39 off the ground. So I'm just going to connect the two onto there now. There we go. And that's simple, as simple as the wiring needs to be. Uh, the Raspberry Pi has everything on board that's needed to do uh, what we need it to do in order to just facilitate a simple push button like that. There's no need for any external uh, wizardry. Now, the GPIO 26 is the one that we're going to trigger. Uh, and by pushing our button, we're going to join it to the ground pin. Now, in order for a change to occur, we need to have GPIO 26 uh, set at a different value to that of ground. And the alternate value on a Raspberry Pi is going to be 3 volts 3, or 3.3 3 volts in, uh, in layman's terms. Now, to do this, we can set an internal pull-up resistor on the Pi. Uh, it has these on board, and we can tell it that we want GPIO, GPIO 26 to be high when the button isn't pressed. So let's go into FPP and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So here's my fresh instance of FPP. Uh, I'm going to go into input output setup and GPIO inputs. I'm going to navigate down to pin 26 Oh, sorry, pin 37, uh, which is GPIO 26. That's the one that we're going to be using. I want to tell it to pull up. So what that means is that GPIO 26 will be set at 3 volts 3 uh, when we've not got the button pressed. Uh, and at that point, it will pull it down to ground or 0 volts. So we have two command options alongside it. Uh, the first one is for rising edge, and that would trigger if the voltage was coming up from ground up to 3 volts 3. And the next one is falling edge, and that would be triggered if the voltage on the pin is falling from 3 volts 3 down to ground. And that's exactly what's going to happen when you push the button. So we're going to use that one. And then we have a number of different options in here to things that we can make happen when you push the button. So I'm going to go down to uh, sequence start, or start playlist, sorry, there we are. So start playlist is what I'm going to go for. And that option gives us the opportunity to not only start a playlist if we've got a full show ready to go, uh, but you can just select one uh, individual sequence. 
Now I have got one little sequence on here called five pixel, and that's just designed to drive the five little pixels that I've got connected to my Pi. So I've selected start playlist and got the right sequence. So I'm now going to press save. I'm about to save that. I can jump back to the top using the top, here we are, and restart FPPD so it's aware of the changes that we've made to the settings. And then if I go to status control, status, it's all ready to go. So as we can see at the moment, the Pi is uh, the player status is idle, but as soon as I push the button, bing, there we go. It's now playing our sequence, and you can see that our five little pixels are, are doing their thing. Now there's a very useful way of uh, starting a show. Um, you could have a separate Raspberry Pi dedicated to uh, a push button, um, you might want to use something like uh, a Raspberry Pi Zero, like this one. Uh, this is one of the old ones, an original Pi Zero. Uh, it'll run FPP just fine. Uh, this is the wireless version, so uh, it can hook up wirelessly to your show network. And you could trigger it in FPP to start a remote show. So you could then have this wired to a button, uh, maybe powered off something like uh, a little USB um, power bank. And you could have it out in your front yard ready for a user just to push the button and trigger your main show over Wi-Fi. Now, I've done just that on a commercial project. Um, we have a big mega tree that we, that we run for a customer and they wanted a push button on a podium for a VIP. So I hooked up a, a Pi Zero W, set it to connect to the Wi-Fi on the tree, and then when the uh, VIP bashed the button, the... Uh, One. So there we are, very quick, um, just the two connections onto the, onto the Pi, onto GPIOs, uh, 37 and 39, which I'll put back up there again for a moment. And then in FPP itself, we went into GPIO inputs. We went down to GPIO 26 or pin 37. Set it to pull up, so it sits at 3 volts 3 uh, the majority of the time, un unless pressed. And then when pressed, so on the falling edge, when the pin value is dropping from 3 volts 3 down to ground, because we've joined it with the switch, um, it's set to start playlist 5 pixel in our case. So I hope you found that useful, and um, I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Take care. Cheers. Bye-bye.